I gotta put something in my eye. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Hi, guys. Welcome to class. Hope you saw the chat. I'll try to do that as much as I can. I'm just going to try to get my headphones set up. Just give me one, one second. They did not want to connect. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can. Awesome. OK. All right. Hi, guys. Welcome to LinkedIn and Strengthen. Good morning. Happy Monday, December 7th. Oh, I'm just getting dressed. <laughs> okay, great. great. You guys turn around. <laughs> well, I'm okay. You, right? You're the one who has on video, not me. Well, I guess I am on video too. I'm just concerned about <laughs> Loretta. She gets excited. If you guys look, you'll see, I'm going to try to do as much as I can to put in the chat what to have available for class. 
So you're going to see the mat, a yoga strap, or a band. Um, I actually have a fun little surprise. My little Santa scarf I found. So it could be a scarf. It's just going to be used for um, some flexibility stretches. Um, a chair close also is for another stretch and the couch. So nothing is like you 100% need, but if you have any of those things available to you, um, just look in the chat. Usually about five to seven minutes before class starts, um, I try to put in there what I can before class gets started. So I'm going to just check the lighting really quick once I step away because it's a little bit dark and then we will get started. And I'm going to mute everyone just because um, of the uh, feedback purposes, okay? So mm -hmm. I hope you guys get a stretch. You should feel a lot better when you leave this class. I'm a little bit lighter, especially, um, I'd like to say, especially in our feet and calves today and hopefully um, the hips, lower back and shoulders. Okay, let me just check the lighting really quick. Okay, we should be good to go. We're actually gonna start standing. I'm gonna spot, spotlight myself to you. So I should become bigger. Yeah. Great, okay. I'm gonna mute everybody just for feedback purposes. And thumbs up if you can still hear me. Okay, great. And if I have to stop for a second and come let people in, usually in the next two to three minutes, sometimes people come in and I have to like let them into class. Please just bear with me and stay in the stretch that you're in, okay? Awesome. All right, well, I'm Anna Marie. Anybody who's new to class, I'm Anna Marie. Welcome to Lanes and Strengthen. We're gonna do a lot of um, different mobility stretches and deep stretching. We might hold for about one minute to 90 seconds. That will allow us to, um, one second. Um, it'll allow us to just really, I like to say like avoid a lot of injury and get a lot of good self-care. Um, self myofascial release we're gonna use. So either a foam roller or our fingertips to um, allow that fascia that gets really, really tight to just break that up a little bit. And uh, yeah, just lead to a lot less tightness in our, especially in our feet and, and calves and Achilles, okay? All right. Okay, so everybody's gonna start in a standing position towards the back of their mat. We're gonna to try to place our feet are gonna be directly under our hips. So we should kind of be in line with ourselves a little bit. Just so you guys can see me. We're gonna roll our shoulders back and down. Nice, nice tall posture. So what that means is you want to think about lifting up through the spine, all the way, all the way up through the head, top, and look out so that your eye gaze is straight forward. You don't even have to look necessarily at me, just listen to my voice. We have our feet under our hips, all four points. So the pinky toe, the big toe, and both sides of your heel are on the ground. Connect to your mat or whatever you have. Press through. We're gonna take and hold an ice open position, lifting our hearts to the sky. I want you to look up about, about one inch. Eye gaze is towards the sky. And now I want you to take your arms. You might have them you might have them here, that's fine. We're gonna get more rotation and more strength as we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna think about lengthening our body. So now I want you to take a look at me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of just start to go side to side, reaching and pulling. And the same leg and same foot are gonna come up as the arm that reaches over. Place the whole foot down, lightly, gently, and the whole foot up. I'm bringing to breathe. I'm just gonna start with a nice big stretch this time. Two more on each side. And sometimes there's a lag, so just bear with me. Try to really open those toes. And now bringing the arms back down to center. Take an arm. We're gonna reach out wide like a T. Your palms are facing me. Thumbs are up to the ceiling. You're gonna roll your shoulders back and down. Inhale and exhale, allowing that to open. Through the back, I want you to squeeze between the shoulder blades. 
nice tall posture. Find all the points of your toes and heel on the ground. Bend the knees slightly. Take a nice inhale in. Bend those knees. Reach all the way up. Hold. And now exhale. Again, we're going to make big bends in the knees. So each time through to bend and release. Try to breathe with me each time, opening up the back. So you want to inhale, inhale the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Two more. All right, take our feet a little bit wider. So about as wide as the mat, turn out a little bit. Now what I'd like us to do is try to balance challenge. So can you take and try to lift yourself up onto your toes? Just holding it, woo, holding it. If you wanna bring your arms out, you can, or down to the side. And when you're ready, bending the knees a little bit, try to balance up on those toes, unless you have any injury issues, then don't. Otherwise, then you're gonna try to balance and bring your arms all the way up, 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 up. Touch your fingertips together and hold, brace that core. If you brace the core, meaning from about right below the hip, all the way up to the shoulders. That's the entire core region, right? That's our foundation. So we hold it tight for three, for two, and now slowly, 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 let yourself fall to the ground, slowly. Lower those heels down, and we go back up. Lift the toes, so you should be able to see them, separate them, all your toes. Take an inhale in, and now breathe all the way to the top, balancing. This time, can we leave ourselves with the letter T? Whoa, it takes maybe a second to get up there. Try to lift yourself all the way up, squeezing in the calves. Inhale, I ask you to bring an arm over, like 12 o'clock and six o'clock. Balance, brace the core. So think about your foundation, tucking the hips under, bracing, keeping it very tight. And now switch, 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 back to the T and all the way up the other arm goes to 12. And what happens if you fall down? You just go right back up, right? Oh, that was messing me up. And if my balance goes off, sometimes you're... So if you don't want to look at me, look at something not moving. So like on the ground or something in your house that you can see that's not moving, find that. For three, for two, and now release. Wonderful. All right, bring yourselves together. Just give ourselves a break for a second. Take your leg up if you can. Or this is why I wanted a chair or wall. Hold. And you can either hold under, lift the leg up, knee and hip in a line. And let's just try to roll this ankle. We're gonna take it one way in a circle. So we're gonna make a circle in the sky. And now rotate the other way for four, three, two, and one. Give it a break. Now open, keep your hips, the hip points are towards the front. And again, just leave this leg right where it is, flex those toes, and now bring it back to the ground. Again, if you wanna hold on to the chair, you can, or try to use this as a balance. We're racing the core, the mobility, right? Bring ourselves in, so lengthen and strengthen. Ooh. We're gonna lengthen our muscles, right? Strengthen our minds, our hearts, our spirit. Circle, and then let's go the other way. But any modification, welcome. If you find one thing. Doing right now is just giving our feet one foot at a time. And hold. But inhale in and release. All right, come back down. This time, please reach those arms all the way up to the sky. Find a place on your mat where you're a little bit more comfortable for a forward fold. And you can slowly bend the knees and one vertebrae at a time, drop down to the ground. And we're gonna come over if you can, as well as you can, and drop your head when you're ready and come towards the ground. You don't have to touch. You can stay right here if that's better. Bend the knees a little bit. My computer is saying something to me. I don't know what it says across the screen. I'm gonna check it. So you guys stay in a forward fold, please. Take inhales in and out.
drop that head if you can. And if you're ready, we're gonna start to sway side to side for three, for two, and now slowly have a big knee bend, big knee bend, slowly roll back up, bracing that core, coming up to the top, rolling the shoulders back and down. Let's try that again. Inhale in, bend the knees, nice and generously, bend the knees and slowly tuck the chin to the chest and slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. When you're ready, if you wanna straighten the legs a little bit, that's up to you. Otherwise, please just hold and breathe. Now take a nice inhale in, halfway lift. So like the number seven, a long flat back. Neck is in line with your spine. And release down to the forward fold. Big knee bend, big knee bend and make a big circle to come back up. All to the top, interlock your fingertips. Take your pointer finger towards the sky. A little bit of a back bend as you look a little bit up with those eye gaze too. And release. All right, now, if you can find something, I'm bringing in my little Santa scarf that we got, the gift. So I'm gonna use this. You can use your yoga strap. You can also use a beach towel. You can also use maybe a jump rope or a robe tie. We're just gonna do some shoulder opening. So think about it just like in the letter, right outside of your hips, kind of in the letter, maybe when you bring it up, it'd be almost look like the letter Y, okay? Up in the sky. So we're gonna take down to our hips, just grab a hold. Please do not like grab them. You wanna release your hands. Just let the thumb just kind of let it hang. A nice light grip. We're gonna bring it all the way up, like the letter Y. And okay. inhale, open up the shoulders, squeeze them together, the shoulder blades. Now release and come back up and release. All the way up and release. Now, what can we start to do? We can start widen our grip on whatever we're holding. And go a little bit further back, opening up the chest. Now look from the side, don't move. You can come here. But if that's enough and that's all you want to do, just hold, squeezing the shoulder blades, and then bring it back down. That is going to be enough for most people just to stay right here. And I'm going to stay with you. My shoulders are tight also. So I'm not going to go and rush it towards the back of my body if I'm not warm. So we want to get our shoulder blades warm. We want to squeeze between the shoulder blades. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. So watch. See this? I don't want to scrunch up, right? I want to think about being here, open. So if that means that you need to get a grip that's a little bit closer, and you just stay forward of your face, and this is as high as you go, that's awesome. Not a competition, right? Come back down. You know that just sometimes holding your shoulders and arms in the sky, right? this alone is a stretch. Now open up that chest, high. Hold for three, two, one. And if you're ready, you can go back a little bit further. You might open those arms, but please be careful. Lengthening through those shoulder blades, lengthening through the fingertips. But at any point you feel a sharp, nice like pain, don't do that, right? This is your class. If you wanna go a little bit further back, we're staying here for a little bit, there's a reason. Because we can slowly start to, if we have it in us, we can slowly start to rotate that shoulder. But please do not go there in your practice right now. Otherwise, we just hold for three, two, one. You have four more. So wherever you want to go for your four. Just hold. If you're going to stay up at the top, just hold it and then come back. Or if you're going to stay at the top this way, hold. Just up and down with the shoulder blades is not easy. And release. Wonderful. All right, now we're going to take this and we're going to try to reach ourselves over to one side. 
So bend this arm. And we are using this kind of as a tool to watch. If my band or whatever I'm holding starts to kind of get like this, I want to think about lengthening my arm, reaching myself over to one side. And now I want to think about trying to straighten it out, but maybe a little bit slight elbow bend. Inhale in. Now, what if you open your heart to the sky? I gaze this towards the sky. And now bring your hands in together. Give your shoulders a break. So try to roll them back for two, one, and then four, three, two, and one. All right. Straight up with one arm. Remember that six and 12 o'clock. We're going to kind of slowly tip ourselves to this side. Regroup your toes. Try to make your toes kind of light. Things not like ripping into the ground. My was just doing that. So try to release. And now what? Open this heart to the sky. I gaze towards the sky. You might feel this very nice stretch along the spine, the side stretch oblique, IT band. And now come back to center, bring your hands into the center. One more time on each side. So open and bend and watch. Remember, instead of closing yourself off, Purposely allow yourself to open your heart to the sky. Eye gaze towards the ceiling. And then back to center. And again, other arm goes up. Open. And release back to center. Wonderful. Let's try four more. Tip from the front into the back or wherever you go. So we're gonna do four, four, three, or modified two, and one. All right, do me a favor, drop this wherever you want to. Do arm circles like you're swimming one at a time. So we get these nice and open shoulder blades. Anytime you need to take a break, please take a break. So you guys keep coming forward with the arms. If you need a break, all I want you to do is kind of shrug up and shrug down for like three or four and then go back in. If one arm bothers you, you can do a nice big elbow bend and just do a small one, watch. Same thing, same movement pattern. Two more, and now hold. Now what do you think we're gonna do? Take a big smile, a big breath, and now we're gonna go all the way back. Now for me, personally, with the uh, shoulder injury I'm recovering from years ago, it's been so much better. But for me, the back is still hard, it's different. So I wanna make sure I'm paying attention to brace for and rotating where I can today. I'm gonna have probably a bigger elbow bend if my shoulder rotation doesn't want to go there yet. Protect your body. And the big rotation is fine. For three more, for two more, and one. And hold. All right, shake it out. Shake the arms out. I like to say shake the feet and arms. Kind of look a little bit silly for a second if you want. Or maybe not silly. Maybe this is how you normally like to look. I don't mind. Let's noodle up our arms. So kind of make everything like a noodle. Try to pick up the feet. Try to brace that core and kind of squeeze the bottom. And what if we start to raise these arms to the sky? Just let them loose and think about even shake, like we're trying to shake them a little bit. What about the fingers? What about the feet? I never said this was like not a fun and most exciting class, right? It is. All right, three. Be a little silly, have fun too. One more, one more on each side. All right, there we go, take a break. Now inhale in all the way up, rise to the sky. Shoulders are back and down. Eye gaze is up and bend those knees generously, bend ourselves down towards the ground. Hold, forward fold, tuck that chin to chest. Three big breaths in. Last one, and we go to the ground. 
How about we get there by rolling up? And we have a little work to do before we get there to get all the way to the ground. Separate feet towards the edge of the mat, like 10 o'clock to one o'clock, big bend in the knee and a squat. And you're gonna walk yourself forward into a plank position and hold or come to the knees, tucking the toes. If you're in the plank, I want you to think about widening your feet. And now you're gonna walk yourself back as you bend your knees. So you're in a squat position, see? And then you rise all the way up. We have nine more of those. That already gets to the ground, right? So we bend generously. We walk out one, two, three, four. Find your plank, don't rush it. Knees or toes, go to the knee. Then lift yourself back up. What is the modification for this? I'll show you. So those of you that want to go, you have eight more. I am going to do the modification. So it'll take about 35 to 50 seconds. Modification, just squat and rise. And when you start to get into a squat, try to lift and lower. So brace the core. This is your modification. If you don't want to go to the ground and your wrists bother you, you keep moving here or the crawl out like an inchworm for the next 20 seconds, okay? Modify this here, Bop back and down. And or we have about probably two more or one more. When you finish, just stop moving and go back to the standing position. We'll all meet in standing. So when you're finished, let me come see you guys. You guys keep going till you're done with 10 total and meet me in standing. Keep moving, you know what you're doing. You're either squatting or you're great, awesome. All right. I want you, while you're standing, to find a sip of water. Find a sip of water for yourself, please. And when you're ready, Meet me back on the mat. I'm gonna come a little closer. And you are gonna come down to the ground. So we're gonna go into a child's pose. So please make your knees as wide as the mat. Give ourselves a little bit of a nice break. The big toes are together. Push your hips back and down. Reach yourself towards me. Eyes and forehead rest down if possible. This is an active stretch. So let's try to keep our fingertips kind of active, a little bit of energy in our feet. Think about like wiggling those toes a little bit. Can you do me a favor and walk yourself over two or three inches with your arms? Lift yourself up and then walk yourself over and release. And then can you walk yourself back to the center? We're gonna slowly walk to the other side. And hold. And each time inhale and exhale. Inhale in. And on the exhale, release. Inhale in. Center, exhale, release. Other side, inhale in. And last one to the center, inhale. So bring your hands under the shoulders, tuck the elbows in. Bring yourself up, shift yourself all the way up to the knees, walk the knees in, and shift yourself into a cat cow position. So shoulders are right above the hands. Let's tuck the toes under right now. Inhale in towards the cow position. Inhale in up to the sky eye gaze. And now exhale with a rounded back. Two more, just like that. Inhale in and exhale. One more in and exhale. 
All right, please bring the knees in together. Feet to one side, sit back and roll yourself back around. We're gonna come towards the top into a 90-90 stretch. So right at the top of your mat, if you think about it this way, your leg is parallel with the top of the mat, but it's facing me. This leg comes back to 90 degrees. So knee, ankle, and toes. We're gonna take our weight and look, instead of facing this this way, I wanna face the front. So however you have to go to get to that position, you might feel some stretch in here, right? So if you need to, you can bring your knee closer to your heel or drive it back a little bit. That's up to you. It's a variation of a swan. So right now, we're gonna do is hand each side. Inhale in and your exhale towards the ground, slowly bending the elbows, bringing your chin to chest, tucking yourself down and letting the head fall. Now, I want you to remember, this is not necessarily yoga, right? So these are deep stretches. We're staying here for a reason. I need to press yourself forward. Think, can I feel this, okay? If this is where you are today, stay here. If you can, I want you to walk yourself forward without collapsing. Tuck the chin to the chest and let yourself fall with the forehead towards the ground. Now I need to listen closely. One arm is trying to be outside this foot and one arm is trying to be outside this knee, okay? Like a goal post. If this is exactly where you have it today, please stay here. This is a very massive stretch. Try to think about taking yourself forward one inch and then back one inch. So it's like taking a little bit of flossing through that bottom. And if you can, wherever it is that you go, we're gonna stay 60 solid seconds. You come out of it and go back in. That's 60 seconds. So I want you to take a deep breath in, find your spot, and hold. Create some activity through the feet, please. So wheel those toes. This is not unactive, right? We're in an active stretch. Don't let the feet be silent or the arms or the breath. You're over halfway done. You can also stack your fist. Another option of variation. Ten seconds. Wonderful. Slowly start to walk yourself up towards the sky. Bring this leg from the back in and around. Take this leg in. While we're here, let's do another stretch. So bring this heel in towards you. So your knee is facing closer to the front. Take this leg and either leave it here or cross it over if you can. And we're going to take the side stretch. So we're going to lift up through the center and we turn slightly towards the side. I gaze towards the side. Shoulder back and down. If you want, you can take and grab a hold of it and lift it even higher. Please try to avoid collapsing. Again, in a modification, you can just leave it in the front if that's where you are today. Nicely just hold to the side. Or cross that over, interlocking, and hold. Open up the chest. See why we have two shoulders, right? We have to be able to have everything warm. And slowly release yourself forward. Bring this leg down. Okay, so now we did this leg, right? What do you think we have to do? <laughs> the other leg. This should kind of make you thirsty and kind of take your breath away from these stretches. We're staying in them longer than usual. That's the difference between a yoga concept or like a length and strength, and we're trying to really stay in these as long as we can. We build up to about 90 seconds. 90, 90, but it's out in front. Again, remember, these arms want to be like widely gold post, okay? This leg shoots out wherever it can. 90 degrees. So if you need more or less, you bring your knee closer or a little bit further back. Eye gaze towards me, hip points are towards the front. And you're gonna walk yourself to where you feel the nice, awesome stretch, but no pain, right? Try it a little bit lower. Make sure you keep this elbows outside, okay? So if that means that you can walk out a little bit further, 
that's wonderful, but also what else is wonderful? Doing what's best for you, okay? So this is it, this is amazing. This is not an easy stretch. Just be on the ground and able to put yourself on the ground, that alone, 100% success. And if you can't get to the ground, 100% success. You do a modified version. You could be standing and just stretching out your hips. There is no definition of what someone's success is, right? Now we are gonna stay in a stretch for 60 solid seconds. So I need you to find where the deepest part is that challenges you without injury or feeling that nice like pain. Inhale in, remembering to breathe in the shoulders and walk wherever that is for you for three, two, and find it. Halfway down, remember you can also stack your fist, but your help rest your forehead. If you want to move yourself forward and backwards one inch, barely, maybe even half an inch, just rocking forward and back. Rocking in that bottom. All those little teeny tiny nerve endings you might feel are the little, little muscles. 10, five seconds, two, one. Slowly bring the hands wide if you need to, come back up slowly. Inhaling and exhaling as you rise, bring this leg all the way out back in front of you. Okay, now we go in the same stretch. So this leg stays in front, this knee comes towards the center, right? Bringing the heel towards my bottom. And I'm gonna take it either leave it here for the modified or cross it over. Lift myself up through the center, okay? Like a pop-up pulling a string, so brace that core. And now slowly reach it back and reach this around. If you can, lock the elbow in and pull the leg towards you slightly, gently up. Again, you can hold here or hold on the ground. It's not like, either way is up to you. Whatever feels the best and the most active stretch for you. Keep some activity through the toes. Lift. Think about rinsing yourself out, yeah? Rinse and repeat. Awesome, all right, let's slowly bring ourselves back to the front. Bring this foot back. Take yourself up, back to all fours. I want you to walk yourself if you can back towards the mat. Tucking those toes under. And now this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and have our toes now under, so we're sit, our toes are sitting on, like we're gonna go back and I'm gonna do it on the side actually, so watch. So we have our toes tucked under now, lift them up. And now we're gonna lift ourselves up. You can see the position on the knees and slowly let yourself fall back a little bit, but not too much, okay? Think about keeping your spine long, eye gaze is straight ahead. And right now you're separating your toes, knees are forward and you're trying to sit back slowly into your feet without falling into them. Now you can take, if you had a yoga block, sit the yoga block here and just sit like this. That's another option. Now lift all the way up and tuck the toes under now, flat on the ground so they can take a break. You can stretch for your arches of your feet. Try to now tuck them under with or without a block or a towel, use a towel. And we're not collapsing into our toes, right? We're just kind of lightly leaning back, bracing our core. The foundation is staying strong for three, for two, and now slowly rise back up and let them fall down towards the ground. We're doing this one more time. So lift those feet one at a time. And if all you do is right here, this is my modification right here. I'm not gonna move. 
I'm just going to let that nice, awesome arch stretch happen. Feel it all through my toes, making contact. And now slowly release. <sighs> Wonderful. All right. Find a little sip of water if you need it. That's where we go into some deep, deep stretches with the legs. And if you can, let's go back into all fours. While we're here, one cat cow, so all the in. Mouth and spine, exhale. Round that back up as much as you can. And release back to neutral. Let's walk this foot up towards the front. We're in a low lunge position. So the back leg is tucked and the toes are tucked under. Knee is towards me, hand on each side. I want us now to take our toes up like we were in that sitting position so that we lean back, slowly shift your weight towards the back and you're gonna be in a runner stretch. And I'm gonna show you this kind of from the side. So please stay wherever you are. You can watch. You do not turn, let me turn. So I'm gonna turn to the side. So my toes are tucked under and I'm gonna shift my weight back, leaving a big knee bend if need be, which is awesome. And I'm going to take my nose, knee to nose, and hold, trying to beat the palms to the ground for an amazing hamstring stretch. But if you need a massive knee bend, nothing wrong with that. Some of us haven't done these stretch in a long time, or maybe you did something this week that you're a little bit more tight. But the flexibility goes very quickly. Now slowly, Towards the front, and I'm going to face front again to confuse you. But I'm in the same position you are. So now I'm in that low lunge, and my feet are tucked under. So the toes are on the ground, flat. Shift now back into that pose and watch. I wanted to go to the side. Think about shifting your hips front and then sitting yourself back and down. You can bring those toes to a lift. And I want to like tip to the side because I'm tight in this leg. So I want to make sure I'm evening out. My hips are facing forward. I have my navel right over my hips and I'm bracing the core to get, allow myself the best stretch. And now come towards the front. All right. If you can't, I want you to toes, heel, toe, heel. Walk your arms into both sides. Let that leg go right behind you. Okay. So kind of a lizard position. Your toes are flat on that mat. This may be enough, like nothing else is needed, right? For some of us, you can stay here. And I know for me right now, I can feel that in my hip. But if you think you want to, you can come down to your forearm and or stack again here. We are staying in this position for the next 60 seconds. So find a place that you can breathe. Coming in out of stretch. Give me 15 more seconds, please. One the modification, you can always just be up on your knee. Toes tucked under. With them lifted up, off the mat. Four, three, two. And slowly, I want you to think about shifting your weight a little bit back, walking heel. Toe, heel, toe. So you're back in that long lunge position. Inhale in and shift your weight towards the back for one more runner stretch. And now slowly when you're ready, whatever way you've got to get there, please bring that knee foot in and we're gonna walk ourselves back into the neutral position. 
Yep, we got it, other side. So now we bring this leg up into the low lunge. Each arm is on both sides, lifting our hearts to the sky and hold. Toes are flat on the mat. Please allow yourself, as you can, try not to clap in the fingertips, but allow yourself some strips. If you want to rock side to side, you can. Now on this inhale in, what are we going to do? We're going to slowly shift our weight, bend the knee. Tremendously, if you need it, please, a big knee bend here. Bring the knee to the nose for the runner stretch on this side. It's more comfortable, bring your toes up. Like we were in that nice stretch for our feet. And try to think about shifting your weight towards the front. Navel is lifting the entire time to allow a good balance. Shift your weight back into that low lunge. Lift the heart to the sky. Tuck those toes under for a bigger hip stretch. If you can, flatten those hands, or even you can come to watch, you can come to fist. I know for me and my wrist, that's an option that I like because sometimes my wrists get tired. All the while remembering to breathe. Take a big inhale in and exhale. That's the runner stretch. You want to tuck those toes up, lift them up off the mat. Even now. Shift the weight, walk it forward. And now we heel toe back this side. So come all the way out to at least two, if not three. Bring both hands into the center, right? The option, you can take yourself up to the knee to stay like this on the knee, or you can tuck those toes under, hold here for a longer stretch, or bring yourself a little bit deeper onto the forearms or stacking the fist. For the next 60 seconds, we want to find where we're the most successful. Don't be afraid to rock quarter inch, forward and back, to side to side. Maybe one wants to turn, but the other one doesn't want to yet. You might need to widen yourself up a little bit or come back up to the hands or even a fist here, if that's better for your wrist. You have about 20 seconds left here. Modify is just on the knee. Inhale in. If you're sweating, don't be surprised. You're breathing properly. I'm gonna feel it all the way into your nose. And release. All right, slowly. We're gonna walk the heel toe back into the center, bring that arm around, tuck the toes with them, bringing them, lifting them up, heel up in the sky, shift the weight back, and we're gonna go back into that runner's. Stretch for one more. Please take your time getting to these stretches. There's no rush. Try to keep your knee and toe in a line with the hip. So if you have to kind of shift your weight towards the front, the hips are forward. And slowly shift your weight forward. And however you safely can get there, bring this leg back a little bit at a time into the knees. Wide as the mat, toes, big toe together, hips back and down towards the ankles. We go into child pose for a break. Really walk yourself back up. Then feet to one side, grab a foam roller or you don't even need a foam roller. I'm gonna wear my scarf as a fun little festive thing because life is short. So why not? We are going to go into foam rolling. The last few minutes of class, I need you to do me a favor. You do it with your fingertips and palm, and I will walk you through that. Make sure you lift up this pant a little bit because what we're going to concentrate right now on is something I'd like you guys 
to try to do today for at least maybe two to three minutes on each leg, okay? I'm gonna show you two things. One, if you have the film roller straight in a second, if not, this area back here, I want you to take and fit thumb and you want to try to knead into right mid calf down all the way the ankle bone. Don't go into the bone, but right above there, you want to kind of take these fingertips, see, you can see what I'm doing here, or thumbs. Don't be surprised if your hands get a little tired. In this area, right from here to here, I am going to be shocked if that's not tight on most of you. Make sure you're not punching your toes. Make sure you're releasing. If you have a foam roller, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to let your leg from mid calf to the bone, ankle bone right above it, okay, from here to here. This would be level one. You can roll that area out. Level two would be to cross the leg over. So if you're doing this leg, you cross this leg over and allow yourself to melt. Ah, dig into this. Takes the rest away. Foam roller and kind of move one side to the other side. There is no way you cannot feel this. I'd be shocked if you have a foam roller. Level three would be to take your hands, place them by your hips, lift yourself off the ground. And now, okay, it literally is like, oh my gosh. I know you're probably like, why do you even have this kind of thing? But it's not, it's like a good weird torture, I feel like. And you kind of just rock real little. All I want you to concentrate on today for about a minute and a half, to two minutes on each side is this area, okay? And again, if you don't have a foam roller, keep going. If you don't have a foam roller, all you're gonna do is take this area, thumb, your fingertips, and you're gonna still feel so much amazing self myofascial relief. So this is like giving yourself a massage all the way through here, all the way up into the mid calf. So you can see, you should have to breathe. This might start to make you sweat a little bit. Don't be surprised. And then let's go to the other side. So we would take, I'm gonna lift this up. Like I said, I'm with my leg up. I think it's easier to see and I can grab hold of my skin better. So the same thing. So we're gonna start with like kind of the fingertips, which if you have a foam roller, it looks something like this. This is like your fingertips, the little nodules, little dots. This one just happens to be this one. Um, and then these are like your whole finger. And then this flat part here is like a palm. So the same thing can be done without a foam roller. You're just gonna get a really great upper body, shoulder, forearm, workout. And then again, we're gonna try to start to knead both sides. If it's the foam roller, we let it come to the foam roller and level one, you would just ah, roll it out for four, frontward and back. And then roll side to side slowly for four. And then you could dig for four, four, like a letter U and see how my toes want to tense. Try to really let them relax. And we want to try to go to that mid calf and then back down. Level two, you cross over. And you guys should be able to see when I get like uncomfortable, also my shoulders want to do this, right? And I want to like think about opening so that if I'm ready to lift, ooh. yeah, this class in person, we film rolls sometimes for 20 minutes, it just depends on who has one because at the club we have them. Um, the wind thing was always like, it was kind of my favorite part, but the same without a foam roller, because you should really be able to feel this. The second thing I want to show you so you can continue on when that is over, the foot from the heel, you can take and do the same thing on the fingertips. And the plantar fasciitis, right? A lot of that pain in our toes, our feet, our calves, the tight calves, and then run the fingers up through the arch or take the thumbs and kind of just lightly massage through here, right along this tenant. Your feet are like, thanks for all the love. And then all the way up into the toes. So don't be afraid to massage the toes slightly. If those of you in my class before, you know I'm a big fan of like separating your toes and getting the fingertips between the toes to separate our toes, um, where they start to kind of cross over. They're like a cobbler's toe. 
Um, they don't like to stay apart, right? They like to kind of tuck themselves under to make sure we start to separate our toes. So I want you to think about the, the mid to lower calf, one area, and the feet. For the other leg, we have about, I don't know, 60 seconds left. So I'm gonna turn my body this way so you guys can see. For me, a lot of times just digging with the thumbs and especially in the heel, don't be afraid to stay here for about, I don't know, 30 to 60 seconds. Just one at a time, you can even just do a fingertip. This is all breaking up fascia. Now that tightness is getting released. That's why it feels really tight sometimes when you're doing this stuff, especially this area. And then if you get into the upper calf, eventually it'll move all the way up. But this is when you want to feel lighter on the feet and on the legs. You'd be amazed 10 minutes a day of this. All together, all those parts, both sides. I know those of you after class will probably attest to it too, especially with the foam roller, it's worth the money too. But like I said, I, I think this is actually just really effective also. I really like sometimes this is all I do, but sometimes the foam roller is too much. So after we get our feet some love, let's do ourselves a favor, come into a seated position. I thank you for joining me, have a seat, cross legs. Let's inhale in to release our shoulders all the way up so, so, so. Hearts the sky, raise them up. Set an intention for your day, your week, your month, your year. What's left of it, right? I gaze to the sky, close the eyes, inhale in. Bring them together, the fingertips again, like we started, and release down to the floor. I hope you have a great day. Thanks again for joining me. Um, stay, take a look at the website for all the new updated classes online um, for FitRec Live. My name is again, Adina Marie. If you have feedback or questions, please let me know. Otherwise, um, I will see you next Monday. Have a great okay. week. Yeah, have a good week. Thanks, guys, so much. Bye. Bye. Very nice today. Very oh, good. wonderful. Good. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for coming. Oh, Bye. Yeah. It's good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. It's have a Bye wonderful everyone. day, wonderful Bye. week. Bye. 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 Bye.